Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist here. This is our 2021 Subaru Crossjet Convenience in the Crystal White Pearl. So this is the newest entry level Crossjet they make. So a couple differences with the 2021s. You can see the front grill and fascia are different, a little bit more cladding, different angles. We've got some different wheels on them as well. More the entry, the, the entry to just under the full load all have the same wheels. But that fake beadlock style, very attractive right now. In the back of the Crosstrek, there is a ton of storage room. Like deceptively large amount. You can fit tons of hockey gear, sports equipment, luggage, pretty much whatever you need in it. I've seen people put table and chair sets in. They just fold the back seats down. It is a 60-40 split. In the second row, room to fit up to three people comfortably across. As you can see, there is quite a bit of headroom, so even taller people don't have any issues fitting inside. Up front, power windows, locks, mirrors, as you would expect. We have a height adjustable driver's seat just based off of a pump system. So you probably can't see it moving up because the camera's shaking when I do that, but it was going up and down there, I assure you. On the inside here, Left-hand side of the steering wheel, Bluetooth and audio control, so you can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. The right-hand side has our adaptive cruise and lane centering assist. So when you turn on the adaptive cruise, or intelligent cruise, depending how you like to call it, uh, you get an image of the vehicle, the Crosstrek, and there's four bars ahead of it. And you use these two buttons to decrease or increase the follow distance. So four bars is the max, and you can go all the way down to one. At four bars, at 100 kilometers an hour, if you catch up to someone, you will slow down and follow them at approximately 150 to 180 feet. So a pretty decent follow distance. I just turned on lane centering and you can see the lines beside the follow distance just illuminated gray. When our eyesight cameras, the stereo cameras here and here, can see the road lines above 60 kilometers an hour, they'll illuminate white and that's whatever side it can see. So it'll give you gentle steering input to kind of keep you in the middle of your lane. Very, very handy on a long trip, keeps you way less fatigued on the trip overall. New for 2021, momentary light switch. So you can turn it off, but it goes right back to auto. So you can't accidentally drive around at night with your headlights turned off and just your running lights. You can hold it off, but you'd have to hold it off for them to be off. It goes to auto. Little information screen up here gives you date, time, or not date, sorry, time, thermometer, estimated distance to empty, fuel economy for trip A, trip B, average speed on the trip. It's also our climate control display, so that's the bottom portion. So it ranges from 18 on the low side all the way up to 32, so from freezing to tropical, depending how you and your pastures like it. It's a little warm in the sun right now, it's a little warmer than 13, so I'm gonna turn that back down. AM, FM, auxiliary, USB, Bluetooth, radio, your USB port and auxiliary. I had another shifter here in the console. Now this is all touchscreen or you can use the tactile buttons below, but hit something like apps, it'll bring up AHA and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. If you plug in with your USB, those will be illuminated and you can access them. You've got all your settings. Climate controls are adjusted from here. It's an automatic transmission and we have X mode, which is kind of like Subaru's equivalent to 4x4 low that you'd find in a pickup. So for that really rough stuff, under 40 kilometers an hour. So that's a brief overview of the 2021 Subaru Crossroad Convenience. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist. Talk to you soon.